Just update the, the thumbnail real quick. Uh, if it'll let me, I don't know if it'll let me at this point. Sorry, guys. And it, there it is. Upload thumbnail. Right, I'm just trying to upload the thumbnail. All right. Here we go. I apologize for this. Next time I'll leave the phone at the table. no idea that you guys you guys were chatting and it said it was live and I had no idea that uh that, that it was still frozen for you guys someone should have said something no it was because I walked away I went downstairs to get the food and took my phone with me so you guys missed most of that like now I'm going to do the potato salad, bean, pickled bean and whatnot, salad, buffalo chicken, and coleslaw. This is like the, the fun plate. Thank you, everyone, for coming back. Sam Death definitely didn't break it this time. I mean, he didn't break it last time. It was me for, walk, for walking away. Mmm, this potato salad is really good. I definitely shouldn't be blurry. Delco? No. I don't think I'm doing Delco. It's at a bad time. It's at noon on Sunday. I go to church and then uh, I get Luke at 12. So it basically starts when I get my son. So it just doesn't work out. But I would like to do something this weekend, whether it's a challenge or a buffet. So if you guys, if you have any ideas on challenges or buffets, let me know. Preferably a challenge. Yeah, it's like Chow Chow, but this isn't, it was called something else. This isn't Chow Chow. I know what Chow Chow is, but it's very similar to Chow Chow, if you know what that is. Honestly, YouTube should um, allow the feature to restart a stream or like re-kickstart a stream that's frozen. <coughs> That potato salad was so good. Let's try this buffalo chicken. Mm. 
I don't know what you're supposed to put this on. It was just um, it was just buffalo chicken, like shredded buffalo chicken. I don't know if you're supposed to put it in something or on something, but I just took it. It's really good, but um, it's uh, very, very, um, whatever they use in it, like ranch or blue cheese. I think it's blue cheese. It, it had a lot of blue cheese in it. As always, I'm aiming for 10 pounds tonight. Oh, look at all that. Now it's got coleslaw mixed in with the chicken. Oh. I'm totally dropping both the ball. Thank you, John. So this is probably like a good 10, 15 minutes off. Is it still a little blurry or is it cleared up? Maybe you just needed a shave. <laughs> I took so much. Of, I took. I basically emptied the coleslaw off the off the bar. There's like none left. Hmm. It's really good coleslaw too. Although it's a lot sweeter than the coleslaw at the energy station. So honestly, for a max out meal like this where I'm trying to keep it low calorie, less sugar is actually better. <clears throat> Clear, all good. Great to hear. So you guys think I should do a challenge this weekend? Mm -hmm. Or do you want me to try to do a, another live stream at like a buffet? I'd prefer doing a challenge. It's really hard to eat 10 pounds of veggies. So I've been throwing in some, uh, some of these kind of things just to see if... Uh, if I start gaining a lot of weight, I might have to rethink how I do this, but for now, I'm going to try to do it like this. This is a supermarket that has a buffet in it. It's called Henning Supermarket. Salad bar is salad bar and soup. And they have like five or six different soups. I'll get soup at the end after I'm full of all this stuff. But um, it's only $10.99 for all you can eat soup and salad. It's a very, really good deal. Eight foot hoagie from Wawa. Still serve it. They still make eight foot. They make eight foot hoagies at Wawa. If someone sponsors that, I will do that. I'll even live stream that. Yeah, that'd be really fun. An eight foot hoagie from Wawa. Yeah. They used to make it for Huggies. Trying 
trying to think of a good local challenge that I could do that people could come out and support me. There might be a pizza challenge, but it's a spicy pizza, and I don't know if I want to do it. I'm a little scared. I can't make the Delco one because uh, of Luke. Plus, I've competed in the pro before, and I have no chance at winning pro. And since I've competed in the pro before, I don't think they'll let me compete in the amateur. So I honestly don't know what to do. So, but it doesn't it doesn't work out this year anyway. Uh, no one else has won it. It's a fairly new challenge. I basically should be an early guinea pig. There have been, I think, a few other attempts that no one won. But I don't know if they won from capacity capacity or um, spice. It says, um, hold on, I got it. Oh, I have a spoon. That would help. It's an 18 inch pizza, so it's not huge, but not a lot of people can eat a whole 18 inch pizza themselves. The godfather of meat. People tell me about him all the time. I know he's from Philly or something. Oh, wow. This bean salad or chow chow is really good. The pizza's in Delaware. It's like an hour and 15 minutes away. It does sound perfect for me, but when it comes to spicy challenges, I want to know that it's not like just a bottle of extract poured on it and basically three bites in my mouth is on fire and I'm done. Like there's a limit to like what's acceptable. All right, so almost done this bean salad. And I'll weigh this stuff up. And I'll leave my phone up here. Hopefully no one will mess with it. And then I'll go get two more plates. All right, 26.6. These are plastic, so they don't weigh much at all, which is really nice. That means my first plate was 1.62 pounds. Let's see what this one weighs. Forty-two point seven. All right. Oh wow, this plate was two point two pounds. So I'm already at three point eight three pounds just in my first two plates. That's awesome. All right, guys, you watch the phone. I'll put it right here. Actually, you know what? I'll put this napkin over it. <laughs> If someone takes it, let me know. 
How much is just the salad bar? Just the salad bar is ten ninety nine. I have the receipt right here. Ten ninety nine. You guys see that? With tax, it's eleven sixty five. So not too bad. Sam, don't touch the phone. All right, making good progress. Yes, I will be right back. I think I'm gonna throw these out. I don't need to. There's no point in stacking these up.
Hey guys, I am back. Thank you for watching my phone for me. I got some massive plates here. What did I miss? <sighs> Try not to spill anything. Yeah, I didn't spill anything. So that's good. The coffee is stay away from the keyboard. What's that mean? I don't have coffee. Got up for a minute, but here to stay. See you, Sam. Here to stay, uh, Sam. Hello, everyone. Hey, Tracy. Thank you for watching. Look at those place. Yeah, I mean, this one's massive. I mean, I'm going to have to, like, explain everything I got on here as I eat it because it's massive. It's pretty heavy. I think it's heavier than my first... My first plate, but not as heavy as my second plate. Let's see. Yep, it's just slightly heavier than my first plate. But this one, this one's not gonna not be as heavy as my other one. No, no, it's not. But it's, it's like mid 879 grams um, gross. Okay. There we go. So let's go. So first of all, I topped this with salsa and Texas peat hot sauce. So it's basically vegetables with hot sauce. Um, I've got a bunch of these cucumbers again. You guys know how much I like my, um, my cucumbers. Oh, Stefan's still here. Must be getting pretty late for you, right? Do you guys like cauliflower? I love cauliflower. I wouldn't say love. I like it. Mm. Oh, by the way, that stuff was called... Um, Four bean salad. Very similar to chow chow. Mm. Look at that huge piece of pepper. Cauliflower. I got pickles and banana peppers again. The only thing I got on here that I didn't get last time was mushrooms. Somehow I missed them last time. Oh, yeah. You can make cauliflower out of a lot of stuff. And it's usually really delicious. I had some... Some little, little like crust, like pizza crust, made out of cauliflower, cauliflower and flour. I think they were, and they were really good. We made, me and Luke made little pizzas out of them. Just before midnight. That's not too bad. So depends when you have to get up. I don't know if you were gone, Stefan, but um, if you guys are still here, it says there's 10 people watching. 
It's, it's, a, it's not a full buffet. I just did a salad, soup and salad. And it was ten ninety nine. <clears throat> Very affordable. Like me and Sean always say, vegetables take forever to eat. Oh, yeah, it's a great price. Most salad bars are around that. Most salad bars are between ten and thirteen dollars. Awesome. I'm glad you're off tomorrow, Steph. Uh, try to make it to the Pennsylvania area. <laughs> no, they don't expect people to eat 10 pounds. Fruit's not cheap either, and I got a ton of fruit on this one. Look at all that cantaloupe and honeydew. Most of the weight on this one is from that. Should have my business cards out. People are walking by and saying hi and smiling at me. But stupid me, don't even have my business cards out. So people have no idea who I am or what I'm doing. But hopefully now they will. Have you guys ever seen my business card? It's got a pretty cool little layout. I'm happy with it. I'll put it right there. Stand it up now. I was going to stand it up for you guys, but you can't see, see it anyway, so no point. Well, I'm coming over to the UK this summer in July. So, depending where you're at, we might be able to. Oh, let me move my phone. See if that helps. Also, my cell phone plan is 20 gig a month, and I'm at like 17 or 18 gig, so I'm running low on uh, data, so I don't know how much a live stream will take, so hopefully I won't hit my quota at that. My speeds will slow down drastically. Oh. I'm in Liverpool, home of the Beatles. Oh, nice. That's up north, right? If I remember correctly. 
People in the restaurant ever come to you? Uh, sometimes they come over and say hi and talk to me. A lot of people don't usually want to be on video of that. Sometimes they do. I don't believe Reddit. YouTube's actually doing very well, I think, compared to uh, other services. Uncle Chuckles, thanks for popping in. I don't know. Um, I don't know what my travel plans are like for when I'm over there. I don't know. Um, me and Max are going to try to do a lot together again. So a lot of it is dependent on what he can do. Because I know his work can be very busy. So if we can get the time off, maybe we can head up north. Uh, yes, I'm working on my capacity while this health. There's no beats on the salad bar today. One of the most disappointing things I saw today. Local job challenges can be hard to come by. Most of them I have done already. Plenty, plenty of cucumber. And they have chickpeas, but I usually avoid the chickpeas just because they're higher in calorie. Um, hmm. Specific goals. Tonight I'm trying to hit 10 pounds. I always try to hit 10 when I do these. Uh, for the year... I'd love to hit ten. Uh, I, I would love to hit a hundred challenge wins, but I would need to travel more. There's not enough challenges in my area. And I'd have to do one a week and avoid a lot of other things. Some places don't let you retry challenges, but retrying challenges doesn't get me a new challenge win. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to hit 100 wins. Ugh. Man, eating all these vegetables just takes forever. There's a decent amount of challenges within like two hours, two to two to three hours. There's a decent amount. I just got to plan them into my schedule. And I got to stop doing stuff like, not like this, like uh, buffets and stuff. And anytime there's an all you can eat or a buffet, it takes away from times of me doing challenges. As for working out, I don't work out. <clears throat> I don't ever work out per se. Like, I don't go to the gym and work out, but I do get a lot of exercise at my work in the warehouse that I work at. Total wins right now is 83. You can always check that on my website, joshthegoat.com. All my wins are listed there. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Um, yeah, this is this is actually really good for jaw strengthening. Depends on the pizza. Some pizzas are easier to eat than others, but it can definitely be hard on the jaw, depending how much you're eating. Just some scraps left. <clears throat> Although, I think I need to update it with my latest win. I forgot to put that on there. So thank you for reminding me. dressing on the sub, just salsa and hot sauce. That's my super healthy plate, and I do one that's a little less healthy with some pasta salads. I got, I got, um, because it's lower in calorie. Mm. All right. That's empty. All right. 26.3. Those plates are so like. That plate was 1.65 pounds. So I'm doing very well weight wise so far. All right. Well, uh, maybe I can do this. No, I don't. I don't want to do that. It don't get that messy, and I gotta weigh that yet. How often do you capacity train? Ugh, you really gotta got to de define what technically is training. Like last weekend when I went to the buffet, that's technically training. More of it was more of a a cheat meal training. This is like a low cal lower calorie training. So it's all training. So. Between challenges and this, I try to do one low calorie max a week and a challenge a week. If it's not a challenge, I substitute a buffet or something like that. Oh, wow. Lemon juice? I never thought about just lemon juice. I don't know if I can handle that. Yeah, ten pounds can uh, can be uh, quite rough. Usually, by the end of it, I'm just like Ugh. the best. I, about a month ago, I did twelve pounds one night. Usually, when I water train. I can get higher, higher, uh, higher amounts, but water training really is just like a drain anymore. I never want to do it. Slaturb, I've never, um, I've never had you join before. Thank you for joining, Slaturb. Appreciate you popping in. I don't think there's any challenges that um, I've seen that has something I don't want to eat in it. Those challenges are pretty popular foods. Hook yourself up to a toilet. That's usually one of the reasons why like I, I used to do all my water training in the mornings, and I don't like doing that anymore. I like doing it at night usually. But then I have to pee all night, so yeah, that that part stinks. Water training is brutal, 
and free. Yeah, it's a win lose. Peanut butter is my absolute favorite. Definitely in my top five foods. I don't eat it a lot because it's high in calories, but. Definitely like it. I ate one of those whole Costco peanut butter pies once. That big four pound uh, chocolate peanut butter cream pie. That was a lot harder than I thought it would be. I definitely bring my own spoon to challenges. I always bring a spoon and a fork just in case. Man, this bean salad is really good. What fruit do you guys like? What's your go-to fruit? foods of all time I'm gonna to have to say chicken usually some kind of like buffalo chicken um, pizza and probably mac and cheese although I love a lot of breakfast foods too so it's really hard because eggs I do like eggs a lot but not not, I don't love them by themselves. They have to be like with something like an omelet or oh, the scramble with ketchup. I do love that. Oh, yeah. Um, that is interesting, isn't it? I didn't even think about desserts. When people ask me what's your favorite foods, <laughs> I don't think dessert. I love ice cream. But I think you all know that. So if I had to choose like three things I could only eat for the rest of my life, I'd probably do pizza. Ice cream. Um pizza ice cream. Maybe pasta, lasagna. How about no? Because pizza and lasagna are so similar. Pizza, buffalo chicken, and ice cream. I don't know. It's too hard to choose. Three things. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Cherries and. Pineapple, those are both very good. Cherries aren't high on my list. I really do love pineapple. Mm. I don't know if I've ever had pineapple ice cream. That sounds delicious. Chicken and eggs. My parents have two chickens. But we use them for eggs. We don't uh, we don't eat them. Hmm. Steak, mac and cheese, and full English breakfast. Full English breakfast has so many things on it though. You can't check that as uh, one of your like foods you like. Because it has so many foods in it. Pizza, ice cream, and lasagna is pretty tough too. I could do that. Or I could do like ice. Every every option is gonna have ice cream in it. It has to. 
Ice cream, lo mein, like beef lo mein, um, um, I can't even think of foods right now. Sushi is good too, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that's like in my top like my favorites. Like I wouldn't want to only eat that the rest of my life. Ben and Jerry's or Hagen Dazs? Oh man, I'm gonna go Hagen Dazs. Ben and Jerry's has better crazy flavors, but Hagen Dazs is uh, I don't know. I feel like it's they've got more all around really cool flavors. Buffalo mac and cheese pizza with ice cream for dessert. Cream egg ice cream sounds delicious. A fruit challenge? Ugh. It's too much chewing. You know what? I did uh, 11 pounds of watermelon as a max out meal for right before my my London my UK trip last year I hated by like eight when I was like not eight nine pounds of watermelon I was like no more no more watermelon but I pushed through general Sal's ice cream definitely one of the best I've only had calamari once that I enjoyed, like, thought it was really good. Every other time I've had it, it's been, like, like chewy and spongy and not fun to eat. GQ ice cream cakes are my favorite ice cream cakes, but I definitely do like ice cream cakes and I would never refuse a DQ ice cream cake that's okay no problem I appreciate you doing that and coming back caboose Speaking of cream egg ice cream, I once some saw someone make a cream egg cheesecake. That thing looks so delicious. Macaroni salad and the potato salad, which both look awesome. I wish I could get like it easier for you to see. You pick up a pizza and everything fell right off. What?
Oh my goodness. Everything cream egg related would be is, is probably very good, but very sweet. <clears throat> the macaroni salad's not that good. The potato salad's a lot better. <clears throat> oh man, I'm getting sick of chewing. <laughs> There's a there's like a seven to eight pound challenge, but I'm a little worried about it. <clears throat> Just because when you get up in the seven eight pound range, if there's any kind of variables like dry buns, um, it gets very tight because like it it just, it just makes it so hard. Um. I will tell you how much I've eaten right after right after I finished this potato salad. As for anything planned for Easter, I shouldn't be frozen. <clears throat> I should still be good. I am. I saw I saw your widow burger channel. Oh you did? I was looking I was looking over at you. I thought I knew you for Oh wow, yeah, that's me. Yeah, you can um did you ever you ever look me up on YouTube? Uh, yeah. So oh, you did. Oh, you watched the video. Yeah. Oh, cool. All right. Are you awesome. live? I am live right now. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you. Awesome. I'm glad I'm back, guys. I don't know what happened, but um, I had someone recognize me. They saw my Black Widow burger challenge. <clears throat> so he came over and just checked if it was me. Always be chewing. <laughs> ABCs of eating. Always be chewing. That's funny. <laughs> Yeah, I just just a little worried when you get up in the eight pound range. I have to be very well trained and ready for it. So it all depends on the challenge. Different challenges are different. My latest challenge win was by the like last second. I just won. That was a lot of chewing. <clears throat> I had a lot of meat on it. All right. There we go. I'm going to drink some of this. A lot of the juice from the fruit. It's delicious. All right. <clears throat> 41 point2 41 point. So I'm gonna go get some more food and I will be right back. all right. <clears throat>
guys I'm back uh. oh um did anyone say how much I ate it was um and by the way I found beets found beets they were mixed in with the pickled eggs, and I did not see them. They were like below in the juice. I had to sit down to get them. I'm so glad I found them. 
So these should take me very close, if not over 10 pounds. If not, I'm getting soup after these two. I've had enough chewing. So hopefully they have chicken noodle soup because their chicken noodle soup is good and it's lower in calories than most other soups. <sighs> I'm getting cold. It's getting really cold in here. I'm going to have to put my hoodie on. 7.74.9. Tray weights, which I've been, I can probably safely do. I will tell you what I will be at. All right. I will be at 10.7 pounds when I finish these plates. I'm happy with that. Then I'll try to hit some soup and finish it off. Wish me luck. All right. It's getting blurrier than when he started. I couldn't make out his cards. Am I still blurry now? Um, it could be that I'm running low on data. Um, let me see if I... It usually tells me if I ran out. I didn't run out of data, so... All right. All right. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're good. Soup is included too. Yeah, soup is included too. Most sal most salad bars come with soup and salad. Not all of them. And some of them, if they do, you only get one soup, like one bowl. Don't fall for that at John's Plain and Fancy in Quakertown. They ruined me with that once and charged me for every soup I had. I was so mad. All right, let's start with this beat. I have to eat this quick because um, they closed down the buffet at 8. So, if it's like, um, if it gets to be like 7.50, 7.55, I'm going to quick run down and get some soup. Mm. Oh, I'm so sick of chewing. Yeah, John, they are overpriced. Egg juice. Oh, the pickled egg. <laughs> it's the beet juice, but the eggs were in it. Did the video clear up at all for you guys? Hmm. Hmm. Oh yeah, you're welcome, Michelle. No problem. Leah, yeah, pickled beets are the best. I'm so glad I found them.
What? Big bread of cucumber, mushroom, and beef. Good night, Tracy. So glad you could tune in. Have a good night's sleep. get through this, this will be a little easier. Raw vegetables are not the easiest to eat quick. Does anyone have any fun plans this weekend? I know I gotta finish editing my uh, brother's barbecue video. Oh yeah. The legs are delicious. I just didn't get any today. Oh, man. Ugh. I'm getting cold. So, say goodnight to Granny's Kitchen. They don't offer the, the Granny's Kitchen in Galleon, Ohio. Did a challenge called Brisket for the Biscuit. There was only like three people that won. Me and Randy Santel were uh, two of them. It says it on the back. Oh. All right, that should keep me a little warmer. Oh. Oh. Yeah, sadly, I didn't get any photos with you, so I can't add them in the video at the end. It really stinks. But I will mention you guys in the video. Said he'd only go if you entered as an amateur. That's funny. 
You too. See ya. Hey, JP. So glad you got to make it. I've been going for about an hour and a half now. I had to restart the stream because uh, I had a connection issue. Oh, it's really hard to talk when you're eating vegetables. Oh, I'm sorry I'm complaining so much, but vegetables, raw vegetables are not fun to eat. Nice change from the donut challenge. At least you're eating healthier. Yeah. That donut challenge was from uh, back in February, actually. Oh. Getting close. Uh oh. Yeah. Can't breathe. Sorry, guys. Few more vegetables on top, then some lettuce. Then I can get onto that stuff. Well, they start shutting down the buffet at eight, so I got 20 more minutes. But I'm gonna try to finish these and take and uh, eat once one bowl of soup. So I'm gonna try to eat this as much, this as quick as I can, but uh, it's proving. No, it's not as much wool as it is. I'm trying to chew these vegetables. Mm. Oh. oh. 
Oh no, I am filling up. Yeah. Overall, I'm enjoying it. I didn't even look what soups they had. that one. Ugh. 25-3. Alright. I'm full watching. Vegetables were rough to get down. But I got them down. This will be a little easier. But it will not be easy. Let's finish this up. Hmm. I put some yogurt on top of the fruit. I thought that would be really good. Oh, 
honestly thought it was the uh, vegetables, which are harder to chew. But even this is getting a little harder. <sighs> Rough like this, guys. <laughs> like, what do you guys, what's going through your head? Like, I know you're just like, it's not that much more. Just eat it. Just eat it. But, like, you don't know how I'm feeling. Ugh. I'm sorry it's freezing. Hopefully it's not on my end. Pushing myself to get better, so the pain is kind of worth it. Ugh. At least I like to think it is. It actually is an hour and a half because I didn't start this right away. Ugh. Yeah. I don't really do. I, you're right. I don't want to think about food. Man. I'm taking the hot bar down already, so. I don't think I'm going to get any soup, but I'm happy to finish this and chug that drink if I can. <sighs> Thank you, JP. I really appreciate that. It is getting rough. All right. really hard now. Mm. Well, maybe what I'll do is I'll eat as much as I can till 8 o'clock, which is 8 more minutes. And then lay it up and call it. I'm going to try to get this down. Right now I'm trying to finish this pasta salad.
Mm. Oh man, that's rough. Pasta salad down. Mm. Yeah. Make sure you uh, give the video a, a like. Smash that like button and. Uh, mm. If you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button so you're notified when I do this kind of stuff. If this is the kind of stuff you're into. Uh, if you guys have ever watched, uh, and I'm sure you have, Dan Killer Kennedy, sometimes he mentions things called Code Browns. Do you guys know what a Code Brown is? Because I'm struggling with that right now. I want to finish this, but I'm having a code brown here. So <sighs> I got five more minutes. I think I can hold it out. I'll finish as much as I can in the next five minutes, and I'll call it there. Does that sound okay, guys? Oh, wow. Mm. Pasta salad and bean salad are down. Ah. Uh. I really hope not, Sam. The last time, last night live. What's last night live? Oh, Dan, you watched Dan's live last night? I saw he did one. It was a Q and A. Oh wow. All right, three minutes. I'm going to try to finish this fruit. Oh. oh, wow. Man, oh, man. I know. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Dan Kennedy always tries to get all the fans to come. He's a really nice guy. All right, I gotta finish this fruit.
All right, guys. didn't eat there. All right, let's see. Uh, all right, I'm at 10.08 pounds. So I just hit 10 pounds. Uh, right here. Uh, very hard to see. Right next to the blue highlight, but I hit 10 pounds. Taste all of them. I hit my 10 pound goal. Um, if it wasn't for a code brown, I will see you guys in the next one. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Sorry about the issues on the first the first live. Sorry I had to restart it, but uh, you live and you learn. Uh, hopefully the stream was better tonight than the last time I was here at Hennings. And I will uh, I will see you guys. Thank you for all your support. And um, Code Brown. All right, the goat is out. Thanks for watching, guys. All right.